Hello everyone, this is Jim Ogrzyski with your week six screencast video. So this uh, week I'm going to speak briefly about the uh, EAB assessment. Uh, just touch also briefly on the double entry journal that is due um, on Tuesday. If you're for more in-depth in conversation about the double entry journal, you can go back to last week's week five lecture video where I covered that in depth. Also, uh, in this week's uh, screencast video, I want to talk a little bit about the Chapter 4 exercises 4.1, 4.2, and 4.3. The lecture video this week will cover exercise 4.3 and the instructions to pull that together for Friday the 2nd, okay? Uh, and then peer reviews for exercise 4.3 will be due on Sunday. This is a critical, critical, sorry, a critical stretch in the course because this is where you'll write the openings for your research essay in exercise 4.3. Also, we will have the peer review process, which is a test run for exercise 4.3 for the peer review process for the research essay. You might want to check the syllabus, but I believe the peer reviews uh, and actually completing that accurately is worth some significant points. I'll get to that in the lecture video. There's a lot of videos available, so I want to make sure I highlight some of the resources and videos that are essential to the process, right? And I say right here in the announcement, I cannot stress the importance of reading closely and viewing purposely the instructions and videos during the final weeks of the course. You have all the tools and information to be successful in this course, okay? There are a lot of points yet at stake for this short eight-week course. So that's our schedule for the week. Let's get to chapter, let's get to the discussion boards first. All right, so this week you have uh, discussion board number seven. That'll do, this is all about chapter four. If I click on that, once again, like the previous discussion boards, I have created two threads. So please, you can look at the uh, instructions in exercise 4.1, which I believe, yes, that is dialogue with Dave. That is one of my personal favorites in chapter four, exercise 4.2 two, right? Give you the pages in a textbook. This will help you refine your thesis. All of these exercises, as you can see, will help you focus your research essay assignment, right? So let me get to the main discussion boards. I'll stop quickly in the weekly course units. Now, one thing I do want to point out, and urge everybody to spend some time looking at the section here on using inciting sources. I have a lecture video on using inciting sources from a spring 1102 course. Also, I have a short video on what is MLA style in the eighth edition. And then also about determining your style guide. These are YouTube clips. I believe they're from the University of Minnesota, but they are very helpful in understanding citation. Okay. Uh, there's a short video that provides a basic for identifying and process of handling source material. All of these videos are probably about four to five minutes and they are excellent, all right? So I talk about here the first three principles of citation, introducing sources, showing where starting and ending points are for the material of the source material you use. It goes hand in hand with the information we've looked at in chapter three. Also with page numbers, if you're using paginated sources, and I cannot stress the importance of the fourth principle of citation, which is the cross-reference. You've probably seen this already in some of the chapter three information, but remember, you need a two-part process, right? In text and also works cited must match and they must cross-reference. That's a two-part citation process for MLA. All right, so I wanna make sure that you take the time. All the MLA and citing source Resource material is all in this using and citing sources of these learning materials. So let's hop into uh, week six. Okay, so I here I list the assignments and discussion board number seven. Also here I have the research essay, the drive instructions for exercise 4.3 and the research essay. You have an updated, video. Well, I say it's an updated video on the drive instructions. These are drive instructions specifically for the research essay process. I produced this particular video for my Net 18 Summer 1102 course, identical situation to this course. It gives you all the information how to work with the peer reports, 
create the research essay folder and work through that process to prepare yourself for the peer review that I basically talked about uh, earlier in the uh, lecture video here. I have the instructions here for exercise 4.3. Straightforward, exercise 4.3, writing multiple leads, requires you to write three different introductions or what we call openings, Ballinger calls it leads, for your research essay, okay? Then there are some specific um, instructions on how to select one and talk about that. What you're gonna do in this is you're gonna turn around and you're also gonna look at what other your classmates wrote for exercise 4.3, okay? So you're gonna write a peer review port and one peer review is gonna be worth up to 25 points for this process. So uh, the assignment uploads are there and the assignment upload section of the course right here. I'll cover that more in this week's lecture video, all right? Also in a lecture video, I introduced the first draft for what we call the consultation draft, which is a draft of your research essay. I'm gonna change some dates on that from my summer course, but I'll take care of all of this in the next uh, half an hour or so. So this is our overview of week six, all right? If you have uh, any questions, you wanna make sure that you email me, stay in front of everything. As I say toward the end of the course, this is gonna end and wrap quickly. Grades are due quite quickly, so I don't have a lot of time for uh, allowing any uh, additional yeah, I don't really have a lot of time because I re I'm required to post grades like within a couple of days at the end of this course, all right? I don't have a lot of uh, ability to grant extensions. So that being said, be sure if you have a question, send me an email, view the videos, read the instructions, it's critical. Watch out for this week's lecture video. Thank you, stay safe, good luck.